The cost of living is pretty high at the moment. Uh, with the interest rate going higher and higher, it's really, really hard for us younger generations to, buy, to even think about buying a house at the moment. It makes it even way harder for us to even have a goal or anything to achieve in the future. For me, personally, it's quite a good thing because I have quite a lot of money in the bank that has not been earning very much money at all for the last 10 years and is now earning more money. I realise also that for other people who've got mortgages, it's a very bad thing. Interest rates are crazy and for university, I even pay off my own university fees as I go along because interest is a big hassle and um, that's why I work so much. We have a fixed rate mortgage, so in three years time, if it hasn't gone down, it will be huge but um, for anyone who's coming out of the mortgage now or who doesn't have an impact, you know, a fixed rate, it's, you know, obviously with all the other increases, it's just going to make life very difficult for them. That is very worrying for people who've got mortgages because it's made them um, unaffordable for some people. So I'm lucky enough not to be in that situation, but I do know people who are finding even considering selling and moving their house um, or struggling to pay their mortgage because of the rise in interest rates. So definitely it's something that I'm very aware of and I think it's very, very concerning for a lot of people. I think interest rates have been too low for too long. Um, the, the marginal propensity to save of UK adults is, is, is low and so people are borrowing rather than investing and it's a rebalancing that's long overdue I'm, I'm afraid. The way you manage inflation is by suppressing demand and if money has got more expensive which is what we're talking about through raising interest rates people either either save a bit more and they or you know they don't borrow to spend. If people aren't spending demand falls down if demand drops you eat a balancing point where supply starts to outstrip demand that filters up through the food chain and therefore inflation does come come down.